So first, I'd just love to ask you what steps, in your opinion, need to be taken here in order to increase equality of opportunity, particularly for minority groups who make up such a large portion of franchisees within the broader industry? Well, you know, one of the great ways that so many people can start a business without a lot of connections and capital is actually to get into franchising. So like you said, we do see a pretty disproportionate representation of minorities uh, in franchising. At the same time, there's some very concerning practices as well that really make the situation tough for businesses that are trying to survive. Uh, you know, black owned businesses, minority owned businesses have been hit really hard during the pandemic. And many are concerned about the power that big franchisors have in order to dictate how they run their businesses. So ultimately, we're going to need to look hard at that to make sure that everyone, no matter you know where they come from, how they started their business or their race or ethnicity can compete fairly um, and are not facing undue power. Uh, of big franchisors. You recently tweeted out that small businesses in America are facing extinction. That was really at the height of the pandemic. What's the biggest threat facing the small business community right now, and what are regulators doing about it? Well, obviously, uh, small business credit is top of mind for so many small business owners. And I think that there's lots of different threats we do see um, many small businesses, particularly in franchising, they are trying to figure out how they're going to compete um, with larger private equity owners in this space. We also see, obviously, that many are facing challenges um, with some of these predatory business loans outside of PPP, these merchant cash advance products um, that can really set some of them up to fail. You also recently called out both McDonald's, which we mentioned is facing a major franchisee lawsuit. The company uh, denies those allegations. You also talked about Subway. Are there any companies you think are doing a good job of really extending opportunity, particularly to minority groups, so they can really grow their wealth and businesses? Well, I think, like you said, we don't actually have really good data on uh, what owners are like in many of these companies. It's not just in public companies. It's in private companies, too. So I think where I come from it is that we ultimately want to make sure there's a fair playing field, both for the franchisor and the franchisee. Uh, we don't want to see franchisors um, increase their ability to profit off of franchisee pain, especially. It has to be something that is symbiotic, where both can grow and succeed together. Ultimately, um, if franchisees are squeezed to the brink, that's going to have an impact on customers and on their employees. So we really don't know enough, um, but ultimately, if we want there to be um, more equity in business ownership in America, we see franchisees and the franchise model as a vehicle for that, but, but it's gotta be fair and we gotta make sure there are not any unfair practices. And to that point, the FTC is currently reviewing the franchise rule. Any learnings you can share and any potential changes that may be coming down the line? Well, we've just opened the rule for comment. I'm really hoping we're going to hear um, from a broad array of those interested in how we grow the economy for all um, and that small businesses and franchisees can really thrive instead of the, the situation they face right now. Ultimately, the core part of the franchise rule is really a disclosure for those who are seeking to open a franchise. Um, many of them feel that it is complicated and complex to even navigate that information, particularly around an economic crisis. But again, I think we need to look at the whole thing, not just that disclosure, but also the underlying contract and agreement between franchisors and franchisees. We want to make sure that it's not too one-sided um, and that franchisors can't bully franchisees. So ultimately, we have to look at the whole thing. I know state regulators are very interested because ultimately, we share the goal of making sure that these small businesses can thrive.